Welcome to Infernum. I'm Peter Vakinis, the executive producer of the movie, and I'm going to just tell you a little bit about where did uh, we film a big uh, part of this movie. And you can see I'm surrounded by amazing locomotives from the years gone by. We're in the hangar of the Nevada Northern Railway. It's a railway that used to service the mine near Ely, Nevada. It, of course, uh, had steam locomotives, uh, as you can see just up here. There's two beautiful examples of steam locomotives. This one over here and this one over here. Beautiful examples, still operating, believe it or not. And, uh, of course, the diesel locomotives that were used for the filming. The locomotives were uh, Alco type. <clears throat> they have three of them. They have this one here, the number five. They have the one in the back, which as you can see says Kennecott, which used to be the mining company here. And the 109, which was used for the film. The 109 actually pulled the um, baggage car, a passenger car from 1872 or thereabouts, which is kept in amazing uh, condition, we'll see in a minute. And the caboose, where a lot of the film was done in the caboose. So let's just have a quick look at the uh, so engine. We're up on the Alco locomotive. I'm just getting into the, the cab. And uh, you can see right here is where the things that are happening. You got all the uh, brakes uh, right here. These are all the levers for the brakes. And then you have the systems for the electric generator because it's a diesel electric engine. You got the radio that was used the ICOM radio that was used in the uh, uh, movie. And of course you have one engineer sitting here and the other engineer sitting over there because you don't have much of a viewpoint through this little porthole. Uh, interestingly enough, as we were filming, uh, part of the filming process was that the ALCO had to pull the train up uh, to a tunnel a few times and it broke down. So they tried to get it restarted. They got it restarted once, but then they had to get spare parts. So they had to go and get spare parts. They got some fuel filters, and then the Alco started up fine. So that was the Alco that pulled the baggage, and uh, the passenger was actually important back in the day because that's where all the mail went to. And you can see. You know, United, the United States Mail Railway Post Office would go on it. So we filmed in this car. This dates back to the 1900s, early 1900s. And then next to it, we have the passenger compart uh, car. And this is a real beauty. This was made in 1873. This was, or thereabouts, this was made back in the day when the railway started. It's still in pretty much original condition and even has inside the seats for men and women because back in those days, women and men didn't travel together. And of course the men sit in leather seats and the women are in beautiful velvet velour seats. Um, it still has original furniture in it. The bathroom had to be updated. And then we have this beautiful yellow car, that's the caboose. And the caboose was also used in the film for most of the events take place in the caboose. So let's just go quickly in to show you what is going on here. So here we are, we're getting into the passenger compartment. As you can see, it's beautiful. Uh, the, this is the women's section and uh, beautiful wood everywhere, as you can see. And the women, as I said, had their own bathroom which is labeled right in here and beautiful velvet velour seats and this is where the ladies would travel back uh, in the 1870s of course these are original seats they have all been revamped and kept in very good condition and then you go into the gentlemen's to the ranchers so to speak and these are the leather seats also, the movie was filmed here as well. 
And we could, because back in those years, of course, the railroad was the main way to access these parts uh, and to get to where all those ranchers were going. Remember back in the 1880s, 1870s, there wasn't that much industry. There's a lot of ranching. And this is the caboose where a lot of the filming took place. Well, you see, we got a nice stove here. Keeps us warm at night because most of the filming is during the night. You got a little desk. And you have the place where a lot of the action happens with people running in and out of the caboose. And that's for the filming relating to the rail war. Of course, we had additional filming that was done in Santa Barbara, California. Additional filming done in uh, Hillsburg, North California, uh, at a vineyard called Acorn Vineyards, and additional filming in Hollywood. So you should go out and see Infernum as soon as it's out. It should be out uh, sometime in 2019. It's a real exciting movie, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it.